So Trudeau is virtue signaling once again, and this time he made a tweet to Trevor Noah, of all people, uh, yesterday. And he's like, hey, Trevor Noah, thanks for everything you're doing uh, to celebrate Nel Nelson Mandela's legacy at the Global Citizen Festival. Sorry I can't be with you, but how about Canada pledges $50 million to educate women to support education for women and girls around the world? Work for you, let's do it. So it's like this organization, Educate education cannot wait but you know he's like uh, but how about Canada pledges it's like it's not Canada that pledges 50 million dollars it's you you're pledging 50 million dollars of our money to these people so you know don't act like it's on our behalf okay it, it's you throwing our money away I don't want this fake uh, praise and virtue signaling uh, pat on the back that you want yourself, right? It's like uh, 50, this this money anyways, was already allocated during the G7 summit weeks ago, but he's just deciding to announce it right now in front of the world so they see how good of a person he is and how great he is, how generous he is with other people's money. Uh, people, you know, $50 million is a lot of money. There is 5,000 uh homeless veterans right now on canadian streets and that 50 million dollars could go a long way in helping them there is an opioid epidemic going on all over canada and that money could go a long way helping to solve that problem there is uh illegal aliens crossing the border into canada we could use that money to potentially i don't know build a fucking wall or something and stop the billion dollars a year that we're spending on these illegal aliens to begin with that is costing us even more money it's like we have a 19 billion dollar deficit which is worse than the debt and he's throwing away money willy-nilly right and like like i said they were trying to be like oh this is money that we already pledged because they were he was getting some criticism from uh, maxim bernier and andrew Scheer and other opposition leaders and stuff uh, obviously not the ndp and shit but he's getting uh criticism from them they're like oh it's already allocated it's not new money or whatever but it's still that's it doesn't it doesn't matter and it just shows how much of a virtue signaling loser you are and it's like you know if you're gonna do something supposedly nice for somebody it, it kind of takes away uh from the act when you're like hey everybody look at me look how nice i am look i'm helping this person it's like those people that like film themselves helping homeless people it's like look i gave this homeless person money everybody hit like on facebook and share it with all my friends so they can see how good of a person i am it's like you, you, and and it's even worse than that because you're you're taking other people's money and just throwing it in, in, into other countries and where whereas like I said there is there are massive problems going on in Canada that that money could be used for but you're gonna be like no nah, whatever fuck those people fuck the hundred thousand jobs being lost in Alberta because and and those people and and fuck making it easier for them to get jobs or reducing regulations or anything like that like the regulations that he imposes what's make what what is causing all of these people to lose their jobs but it's like and and all this new like uh carbon tax and all this bullshit that he's going to implement that is scaring off away more businesses for people in the future to potentially have jobs so it's like you know he's doing absolutely nothing for for these people because they don't vote for him it's all about votes. You know, that's why he's constantly women, 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 girls, women, money, here, 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 more women, money, girls, uh, minority money, aboriginal money, money, money. It's because they vote for him. That's the only reason he's trying to get their vote. So he's going to throw away money willy nilly. Like I said, while well, we have fucking deficits, like wh what happens when the next recession hits? We're not going to be ready for it at all because of his reckless spending that he's doing right now. It's, it's, it's completely fucking reckless. And the only reason people don't have a problem with it is because so many young people and so many people have propagandized to believe that resources are 
infinite in that Canada has indefinite resources. We, we, we can just let in as many people as, as we want because we have as much money as air. And uh, it, it's not going to be a problem, even though 40% of the shelters in Toronto are filled with refugees and there's people, you know, they're, they're having to buy hotel rooms for them while there's, like I said, 5,000 uh, veterans that are homeless whom don't have a hotel being bought for them, whose lives are made even harder right now with the changes that have been made in the Veterans Affair things that are supposed to make it better for people but now it's even harder like he he doesn't give a shit about them because it's not his voter base and the only reason you see a lot of oh my god in the oshawa plant and stuff in ontario is because yeah there there is the potential of a lot of liberal votes there that he wants but you see there's all these jobs being lost in other other parts of canada that don't vote for him and he, and he doesn't care he doesn't he never cares he doesn't care about these people he doesn't care about the women and children anybody any anything like that he he just wants your vote he wants you to give him power to ensure that the liberals stay in power for years and years to come and that's going to be ensured with the global migration pact that is going to be signed very soon and you know i we like there's a, there's a pledge that Maxim Bernier wants to sign, and you know I'll put I'll find a pledge and put it below, and you can go sign it. But even with signing that, you know it's it's like it almost seems set in stone. You don't see any of the other uh, premiers or anybody else other than Maxim really even talking about it, not saying anything. Uh, you know, Andrew Shear, no nobody. They're saying absolutely nothing. And even this, you know, Andrew Shear came out and said something after Maxim Bernier came out and said something, right? And he's like, oh, I can't, you know, let him take all the likes and the tweets and, you know, uh, he's going to be taking more of my support, more more of the people. I take, yeah, because you're moving too far to the left. See, the problem with moving to the center, like people are always trying to do, oh, we're trying to be moderate, trying to get people in the middle, is that our society has been moving further and further to the left. And, you know, if you keep trying to meet in the middle, you're just inevitably going to be keep going further and further left. So, you know, at some point, you got to stand for your principles and you got to stop cucking to, you know, the, the media and being afraid of being called racist and stuff. Maybe he's going to start to realize that a little bit soon. But you now he, he's bought off by special interest groups, by the dairy cartel, by all this other shit. So he, he's a big government guy too. That's the problem. That's why conservatives have such a hard time with arguing against liberals because they've done a lot of the same shit. They could, you could point to them supporting all these other welfare type programs or uh, corporate welfare and, uh, you know, uh, supply management on the market and all these communist principles so it's really fucking difficult for them to argue about against anything you have to be consistent with your principles and you have to be more actually libertarian like more like maxim is because you know then like the whole problems that are going on right now in ontario with the uh french school and shit where it's kind of dividing and shit well easy solution how about the government just doesn't fund any of them there we go because you know the whole the whole problem is the whole reason why a lot of division has started is because we're like oh well okay we don't have money for this school where you know they don't the ontario is massively in debt they do have to cut the the budget but because of wine and their government and they're reckless spending again because they're liberals. They go and they're like, oh, we'll, we'll buy you this. We'll pander to the French community and buy them a university. And we'll pander to this group and things they don't have money for. And then when somebody comes in, they're like, okay, we don't have the money for that. They're inevitably going to have to make cuts. And then that's going to enrage people in the community. They're going to be like, hey, why are you cutting our shit? You could cut this potentially. You could cut this. You know, so it just creates more division. Whereas you could just be like, okay, no funding for for any anybody you know and, and maybe that would a lot of canadians wouldn't like that but that's better 
than being like, oh, okay, let's just keep sli slightly moving to the left, slightly moving to the left, keep, you know, uh, compromising on our principles. Okay, well, maybe some socialism is okay. And, you know, I seen the National Post, all this shit, a bunch of conservatives arguing for the media spending the 600 million. There was Conrad Black, who's some, some great conservative uh, Canadian who's like, actually this money could be good if it's spent well and it's it's used right it's like what, what kind of conservative are you to trust the government are you a fucking retard but this is this is the, the, the types of conservatives we have in canada so you know we we need to take a stand we need to be like no no fuck that we we cannot cuck anymore because if we keep cucking we are gonna look like what is going on in france right now you know, if Marie Le Pen had won, you wouldn't see these revolts and shit, all this crazy chaos going on right now. Like one woman I just saw died because the fucking uh, the police shot a fucking canister. Some old woman, she was closing her blinds, shot a canister through the fucking window and hit her in the face and killed her. You know, so fuck, fuck the police. But yeah, it's going to be blamed on that group anyways. And, you know, that's... It's great to see what is going on there right now, people standing up, but you know, it's they, they've gone pretty far and it's it's gonna take a lot more than that to get out of the situation that they're in. It's gonna be a lot more violence to come and you can prevent these things. But you know, like like I said, like you know, the whole if you're if you're you're trying to pander to different groups, you know, even even Andrew Shear had a meeting. He set up the meeting between Trudeau and all these other people to talk about Ford rescinding the funding for that Francophone school. So he's still trying to pander to the French community and stuff. And you know, this is the problem. It's the problem with identity politics. You know, uh, you're, you're pandering <clears throat> to this group, this group. Oh, hi, hey, happy Sikh day, happy this day, happy this, happy Hanukkah, la la la. You know, the Jewish this, the 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 Muslim that. You know, fuck that bullshit. Okay. The, the, you know, we, we, we still have a chance right now while Canadians, while Canada isn't a huge multicultural fucking mess to appeal to some of this shit. But once we become, you know, once we white people essentially become a minority, then it, then it, then we have no chance whatsoever to appeal to more libertarian principles. But right now we, we still have a chance. But if we're just like, ah, we're, we're, we're too cucked as a nation already. And it's like you, you've already given up. You're black pilled. You may as well just join the alt right, and and give up fucking completely, and be like, ah, oh, everything's fucked. We're done. Just whatever. Get ready and arm up. And you know, I'm just saying you should you should be armed and shit unless. But like you know, so you, you don't need to get. There there is still time. We can still shift the country, and turn them with especially with the social media and stuff this is why you see them constantly trying to censor <clears throat> because they know it has an impact but it was funny to see you know like i said andrew Shear did come out and say something about it he's like pledging 50 million in a tweet to impress a tv personality taxpayers need a defender not somebody who throws their money around to be popular with celebrities this is how deficit deficits become massive and permanent but this got a bunch of like backlash from like you know virtue signaling leftists that are like this this is one one guy's tweet uh rob silver i don't know who he is he's got like eight thousand followers but he's like the money is going to educate girls in some of the poorest countries in the world you think that helping to educate these poor girls is something that needs to be defended against uh, is this really how you think you'll stop bleeding votes to Maxim Bernier? Because it's gross. So it's like, you know, it's like you can't even talk about the, the government throwing money away because, oh, well, you don't like women and girls? You know, this this is the like a low IQ argument from leftists. You know, it's just like when you, oh, you want to get rid of welfare? You, you don't, you hate poor people. You hate women and single mothers. You know, uh, oh, you wanna you wanna privatize healthcare? Oh, you want people to die in the streets? Is this what you want? It's like there's not this false fucking dichotomy, you motherfuckers. Okay, you know, a lot of foreign aid is not good for these countries. Okay, if if 
the country that their leaders are not getting money from their own populations, they have less incentive to listen to those people. Okay, so it's it's you know, the, the foreign aid has been proven to be a to be a failure. Okay, there, there, there's an overpopulation problem in these countries, it's not really a good, good idea to give them even more money to potentially make that problem even worse, which that is what is going to happen. But there's this guy who said it, then there was uh, Gerald Butts, who is like, you know, Trudeau's like, puppet master, essentially. Uh, he's like, the money is going to educate women and girls in the developing world in a uh, uh, commemoration of Nelson Mandela's 100th birthday and the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada's reaction. You know, he shows, uh, you know, Andrew Shear's tweet or whatever. But, you know, we'll see Andrew Shear. He's most likely going to cut down, you know, he should be having a battle on Twitter back and forth with this guy and be like, you know, what the fuck? What are you saying? You know, like, but but he's not, you know, he's he's not going to. He's going to try to be like, see, I'm a respectable leader and I don't play by these politics. I'm not going to bring up Trudeau's groping scandal. I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to, you know, call him out when he needs to be called out on the blatant bullshit. You know, you know, I'm not going to come out and you know, sound the alarms about the global migration compact that is going to destroy Canada's sovereignty. <laughs> like that's going to make migration a fucking human right. Like I'm not going to make a big deal about this and like, you know, hound them hound the fucking question period about this every fucking time because i could lose votes with some minority people some people could call me racist you know so we'll, we'll stay away with that we'll just focus on the carbon tax and a couple other things like you know uh, maybe the foreign aid and you know that's cutting it close but uh you know we'll, we'll, we'll go with that but you know it's enough with the fucking cucking this this is not how you win this is why he he is still like eight to ten points behind trudeau in the fucking polls is because he is a cuck that that is why nobody people still don't know who he is a, a large percentage of canadians still don't know who he is because he's not saying anything worth to be reported on right so like make some news say something that is going to get under people's skin like maxim bernie's tweet that got him like skyrocketed and got all the the leaders and the people andrews uh shears government to be like oh bad bad maxim for talking about multiculturalism that's a big no-no in canada well guess what it's going to be fucking illegal pretty soon to talk about migration so you know start talking about that soon but like i said i'll put the uh petition or whatever in the description below but that's all i pretty much had to say if you like my content subscribe and have a good day see ya